Hey. <laughs> the Breakfast Club, bitches. Now, I've been called a lot in my 23 years, but Donkey of the Day is a new one. Oh, I got a headache. Donkey of the Day for Wednesday, December 18th, goes to a 16-year-old girl named Carol Sanchez. Now, this happened in the Bronx. And what does your Uncle Sharla always tell you? The craziest people in America come from the Bronx and all of Florida. Now, one of the main triggers for my anxiety is, is sex trafficking and hearing about sex trafficking stories. Okay, I am the guy who is constantly talking about things like this to my wife and, uh, you know, my, my homegirls that I love. I have these conversations literally every day with my partners like, you know, Wax and Lil Duval because I'm trying to figure out if sex trafficking has gotten worse or does social media make it seem that way, okay? You know, I, I follow uh, Tony Rivera on Instagram. Drop on a clue bump Tony Rivera. She's out here doing God's work. You know, you know, uh, she goes out looking for these women who haven't, who have gotten abducted. Uh, you saw her here when she was on the Breakfast Club, and you know she told us one of the best things to do when these women go missing is to raise awareness, make the block hot for these sex traffickers. Okay, repost the pictures, give Crime Stoppers information, just start ringing all the alarms. And usually, in most cases, they don't want that kind of heat, so they return the young women. I don't know how effective this method is, but until we can find an infinity gauntlet with all six infinity stones and we can snap our fingers and make all sex traffickers disappear, this is the method that I shall use. And yesterday, I used that method when I saw the apparent kidnapping of Carol Sanchez. Now, if you saw the video, Yesterday morning, you saw that a 16-year-old girl was apparently kidnapped right in front of her mother when four men jumped out of a car and snatched her off a street in the Bronx. It is impossible to not have empathy for this young girl if you're a father or a husband because the way my anxiety is set up, as soon as I saw that video, I was distraught. I started to have a slight panic attack because immediately I started thinking about what if that was my wife or one of my daughters. That's what I hate about anxiety because I truly believe my thoughts become things. And then there's so many things that I've created in my life just by thinking about them. So when you know the power of your thoughts and you can't get these negative thoughts out your mind, you end up having an anxiety attack because you think something bad is going to happen and you think it's going to be your fault because you can't stop thinking about it. So I did what I always do. Uh, I went and did my breathing exercises and then I dropped to my knees and prayed for Kyle Sanchez and prayed for her mother and prayed for, you know, every woman that I love just to be protected and safe. Then I posted to my Instagram the video of her being snatched up with Crime Stoppers information. Then we got the news that she had been returned, you know, dropped off at a park in the Bronx. So I posted that video and said, look at God, all praises due. Now let's get the men who did this to her off the street. But then another story broke. Uh, a story that is just a harsh reminder of why I don't talk to you niggas after 5 p.m. Let's go to CBS 2 New York for the report, please. 16-year-old Carol Sanchez walked out of the 40th precinct Tuesday evening with the relatives who spent the day searching for her trailing behind. None of them said a word. Can you tell us what happened? Around 11.30 Monday night, Carol was with her mother on Eagle Avenue in Melrose when surveillance video shows four men in a car pull up, grab the teen, push her mother to the ground, then drive off. The family lives in Dutchess County but have been staying with relatives in the Bronx. In the morning, the NYPD put out an Amber Alert and plastered the neighborhood with missing person posters. Then 15 hours after what looked like her abduction, Carol came back to the spot where she was taken and reunited with her relatives to their relief. Sources tell CBS2 the teen turned herself into police on site and confessed that she orchestrated her own kidnapping with the help of four accomplices in an attempt to run away from her family. Police let the teenage girl go without charging her for any crimes. The NYPD says it's still investigating and is looking to speak with those accomplices. This is why you can never give Florida or the Bronx the benefit of the doubt when it comes to being crazy. Carol, my love, you're 16, so I can't be too hard on you, but come on. You know, you're you mad at your mom because she's overprotective. You want to run away because uh, she's overprotective. Of course she's overprotective because she knows you better than anyone on this planet. And she knows you have the potential to do stuff like this, all right? It's so many women being kidnapped every day for real. Sex trafficking is real. According to Black America Web, nearly 75,000 black women and girls are missing all across America. Black girls and women represent 7% of all Americans, but 35% of all missing person cases, and no one seems to care. So when the troops rally around a case like Carol Sanchez and come together to bring attention to her situation, what happens when we find out she has been a student of the school of Smollett? Okay? 
Carol makes it bad for the next woman who's in this situation who's really kidnapped, okay? It's someone out there right now listening to me, I guarantee, who has been trying to get people to care about a woman that's missing in their life. They would love the kind of support that Carol received yesterday, but they aren't getting it. And meanwhile, you playing with something someone wants. No, Carol, you're playing with something someone needs, okay? Now, will this stop me from posting about the next woman that goes missing? No. Not at all. I would rather be safe than sorry. But y'all Negroes play too much. All right, today is my last day for 2019 on this here Breakfast Club. After the day, I don't come back until January 7th, 2020. And I cannot wait to put you niggas on Do Not Disturb, okay? Uncle Charlotte is tired, man. All right, we go out our way to provide a voice for the voiceless. And nowadays, that's getting very hard to do because we don't know whose voice to trust. Kyle, I don't know what to say to you. I don't know what should happen to you because you're 16. You didn't hurt anything except your mother's feelings, but I'm pissed off. Not really at you. Just pissed off that you would make light of a situation that I truly stress about. Okay? I just hope one day you know what parental paranoia feels like. I hope one day you get to experience the panic that parents feel when they think their kids are in danger. In fact, there is only one person who can explain how us parents felt uh, watching this. Carol, I want you to listen and listen good. I present to you Black America's forever mother, Claire Huxtable. I only hope that you can have the same experience, Vanessa. I hope that one day you come to realize exactly how it feels to think that your child's life is in danger. You have taken us from levels of frenzy, panic, distress, and now that we know you're okay, rage. Now go to bed! Please let Remy Ma give Carl Sanchez the biggest hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw, you stupid mother are you dumb? I really got a headache. I ain't drink my, I gotta take my sea moss. All right. And my mail balance. All right, well. Buffalo Ave Builder, too. Everybody else, we'll see you guys in the new year, man. It's time to get it back. We done it? No, we ain't we done yet. Shut it down, <laughs> what are you right? talking about? We got more time? We got more time, man. How much more time we got? Oh, man, that just gave me a headache, man. I'm, I'm looking on the cameras to see where my kids are following my daughter on her iPhone, make sure she's all right. That's what I'm saying. Like, you don't even understand. Like, me and Envy being here having conversations, like, yo, would you put a tracking device in your kid? <laughs> and we'd be like, yeah, yes. I can see why. I, like, if they was to kind of come, come, come gas us up right now, it might be the mark of the beast. We don't know. If they come in like, yo, you'll put a tracking device in your kids. I might just do that. Yep. I'm being honest with you. I would. Ja- that would help ease a lot of my parental paranoia. That would help ease a lot of my anxiety, that pain, that fear you feel when your kids are just out doing, living their life like it's gold. Mm-hmm. Lord have mercy. Donkey Today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.